If you take a look at the numbers on Apple's website, the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 11 are stated to have very similar battery life. But the thing is, unlike the LCD display on the iPhone 11, the iPhone 12 is using an OLED display, where whenever a darker color appears on screen, the individual pixels responsible for that color either use less power, like with a dark gray color, or they turn off completely like with black, which, as we found in our dark mode versus light mode battery test, can lead to some serious battery gains. So at least when using dark mode, I think the iPhone 12 can do a lot better than what Apple's own numbers suggest. How much better? Well, let's find out. This video is sponsored by Zen, the shopping card connected with an app that brings you three main benefits. Now, the first benefit is a big one for anybody who buys a lot of tech, and the automatic one-year extended warranty on electronics. So, for example, if you buy something that has a one-year warranty provided by the manufacturer, and then something goes wrong with it after that warranty expires, as it often does, Zen will cover it up to 1,500 euros for an additional 12 months. The second benefit is Zen Care, where if anything goes wrong with a transaction, say you buy something online and then you never get that product shipped out to you, Zen will handle the issue for you faster and with higher success than a regular person could have. And then third, there are zero fees when you're shopping online, even when you're shopping foreign stores like AliExpress or Amazon in a different country. Zen is currently available in over 50 countries around the world and offers a free 30-day trial. You can download the app and learn more at the first link down below. Okay, so as we hop into the phone test, for your reference, we've also included the iPhone 12 with the regular or light mode enabled on your left. In the middle, we have the iPhone 12 with dark mode taking advantage of that OLED screen. And then on the right, we have the iPhone 11 with dark mode on that LCD display, where after one hour, there wasn't that big of a difference between the three. Of course, that's because the screens were off for the majority of that phone test. And that's something important to keep in mind. Dark mode is only going to extend battery life when the screen is on and displaying dark colors, like we have here in the messaging test, where we're texting back and forth with our automated chatbots, where one hour into it, we get our first glimpse of dark mode's magic. The iPhone 12 with dark mode enabled only drops down to 91, while the other two iPhones both drop down to an equal 88. Here in the email test, I'm expecting a similar result. While not every email that we load here will take full advantage of that OLED display, since some of these emails do have lighter colored photos in them, for the most part, it's the app's interface that's taking up most of the display where having it dark only costs the iPhone 12 5% of its battery, while having it light costs the iPhone 12 8%, which lines up exactly with the 8% cost on the iPhone 11. Now, dark mode isn't going to help in every app that you use. For example, here in the browser test, dark mode has no control over the content being displayed on these websites. So one hour of browsing later, both iPhone 12s perform equally as a result. Here in Instagram, the UI actually goes completely black with dark mode, meaning at least on the iPhone 12's OLED display, those pixels are off right now and consuming zero power where one hour later, that difference adds another 3% to its lead, putting the dark mode iPhone 12 10 points ahead of the iPhone 11 as we head into the 16 hour standby, where the screens are off the entire time, so dark mode isn't gonna be a factor, and somewhat surprisingly, the iPhone 11 does better. But even with the iPhone 11 stellar standby performance, it's still a lot further behind than you'd expect if you were to go off of Apple's numbers alone. Obviously, compared to the light mode iPhone 12, the iPhone 11 is still close, but with dark mode, the OLED panel just takes the iPhone 12 to another level, with it improving its lead back up to 9% after an hour in YouTube. Here in the gaming test, just like in the YouTube test, because the content is taking up the entire screen, it's the same exact content being displayed on all three phones, where one hour later, both of the iPhone 12s do better than the 11, which could partly be attributed to the OLED screen since there were some dark colors present, but it's also probably the efficiency of the A14 Bionic chip. But nonetheless, here in the maps test, dark mode is definitely playing a role. While the map itself isn't completely black, it's more of a gray tone, that should still help the OLED's efficiency on the iPhone 12, 
where one hour later, it does, costing the iPhone 12 with dark mode 9% of its battery, while the same exact task costs the iPhone 11 11% of its battery. So as we work on Spotify, the iPhone 11 is down to its last 11%, which unfortunately is only good enough to last it 47 minutes before it ran out completely. Meaning, put through the same exact set of tasks, the iPhone 12 with dark mode nets a 13% advantage over the iPhone 11. Now, of course, even even with light mode enabled, the iPhone 12 has a 4% advantage as we can see here, but 13% is a huge difference. At least based off of this test, 13% is good enough to give you an additional one hour and 51 minutes of texting, or one hour and four minutes of watching YouTube full screen, or it can even help you get home with an additional one hour and 26 minutes of navigation. Now, for those of you wondering, the iPhone 12 with dark mode was at 9% at the point at which the light mode iPhone 12 died, which allowed it to last 34 minutes and 44 seconds into the intensive camera slash Snapchat test. But anyways, that is it for me in this video. Thank you for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the very next episode.